to the main event. Although this main event has changed two or three times at this point, but as of right now, uh, as of Tuesday night live for you people, the fight is Jack Hermanson plus 115 versus Marvin Vittori minus 135. Mikey Gills, Hermanson Vittori. All right, just right away, I, I, I don't want to spoil my pick with this comment, but I was shocked for the DraftKings prices um, for this fight. I, I, I don't quite understand them, but here we go. Jack Hermanson, $8,000 on DraftKings versus Marvin Vittori, $8,200 on DraftKings. I won't tell you which way yet, but I figured it would be further apart than that. Start off with Hermanson. Uh, black belt on the ground. Definitely going to want to take this fight there. That's basically what he tries to do in every fight. Um, solid takedown, solid top position, super aggressive. We all know Jack Hermanson by this point. Um, one thing for this fight really that's going to play out to be super important is his cardio. We have seen him have strong cardio for all five rounds. He showed that against Jacare. And um, Mike, you and I were talking about Clarissa explains it all earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in a Jacare um, Clarissa's pet uh, crocodile Elvis reference. Yeah, just, baby. Just throwing that one in there just for you. Anyway, um, going over to Marvin I'm pro. Vittori. I'm pro. <laughs> Going to Marvin Vittori, 8,200 on DraftKings. Uh, in this fight, uh, look, he's got a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Could maybe keep him out of trouble for a little while. He definitely has the striking advantage. That's where he's going to need to keep this fight. Problem for Marvin Vittori, and we've seen this, questionable cardio. And in this fight in particular against Hermanson, against this opponent, I just think that could be one of the biggest deals. Like, if it were solely based on the striking ability, I really think it would become Vittori's fight to lose. He has the crisper striking, better overall stand-up. But it's a five-round fight, and cardio is a thing. I've seen Hermanson do it before against Jacare, and he looked damn good in the process. I mean, sure, I get an older Jacare post-Usada. Don't need to talk about that, but whatever. (laughs) It's the smaller cage. This is going to be a pressure fight, and... Vittori is going to start to get pushed to stay active. And I just have to think at some point that Hermanson's going to be able to take over as this fight wears on. And that's when you're going to start, you're going to start to see those Hermanson takedowns. That's when he's going to start to add up those points. And that's where he's going to win this fight. I see at some point, late third, fourth, fifth, you're going to see a Hermanson sub. You're going to see a Hermanson TKO or at the very worst, a dominant decision. Regardless, $8,000 on DraftKings is a gift in my eyes. You guys may disagree. $8,000 for me. I'm locking them up in my lineup. I love them in this fight. Yeah, this one's a tough one for me. I'm a big fan of uh, Marvin Vittori. I've been since he got in the UFC. Um, Bob and I have both been kind of high on him uh, all the time. So uh, this one, uh, I, I wanted to bet him, you know, but we don't bet main events basically in the, on the show right now. Uh, just with the, the streak of just not having the best luck with them. And there's no point to fire on a main event when we could do so, so much better everywhere else. So uh, Marvin Vittori, I mean, I, I just like the guy striking a lot. I think that he's, you know, come a long way. Um, guys like uh, Carlos Jr. Uh, Carlos Jr. Who's a third degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. They couldn't sub him. So I, I feel like he's not only, you know, danced with Israel Asana striking, but been on the ground with uh, great Jiu Jitsu practitioners. I, I just I'm try I'm I guess Hermanson has an edge on the ground, a hair, but I I give the the stand up I'm I greatly favor Vittori I think that he's more well rounded of uh, standing I think he's got better kicks he's got better striking and that Hermanson leaves himself open for damage, um that's the only one reason why I I don't love Hermanson more than anything is because his he his striking is just isn't as good as his ground game so. Um, on this one, I'm going to pick Marvin Vittori. I like Marvin, the Italian Stallion Vittori. I think that uh, he's the real deal. I think that, um, you know, if guys like Israel Adesanya couldn't absolutely stun you and kill you and knock you down the ground and Carlos Jr. couldn't submit you, I, I think that you're young, you're strong, you're co- on the up and cl- um, coming. I think that his peak is higher now. Um, I'm going to go with Marvin Vittori to shock the world. In terms of a pick, I go Vittori just off the bat. I'd, the odds scared me away more than anything. Um, also it being a main event, that's 100% true. If he had more power in his hands, I would gear. Okay. I'm going to put it this way. Marvin Vittori was supposed to fight in next week against Jacare. He's stepping in. So it's, I know he's young, but it's a week earlier on that weight cut. He doesn't quite have the power. I mean, he, he has good striking. He does. He has the better striking, but the all out power doesn't necessarily have it. And dude's still pretty young. Like, like me and Mike are used to getting Vittori at 
close to even or dog odds. Like if he was a dog here, I'd be like, he's worth your money because he will fight for your money. Like it being a main event, having to speed up his weight cut by a week. And weirdly, like I know he, I believe he opened an underdog, but he's been a favorite ever since. Like money came in on him, which which is great. But I don't know, it's all kind of scaring me away in terms of a bet, but pick absolutely Vittori. And then I just, I just want to... Um, I need to say this. I, again, we're going to do a big stitch back because I want to give uh, Mikey Gills huge credit here because I don't think all of you quite got the quite deep t- cut reference. That was <laughs> but the reason I got to say this is because it links to MMA. This one actually links to MMA. So bear with me. So they talk about Clarissa explains it all. So this isn't just, hey, Melissa Joan Hart this, Melissa Joan Hart that. We all know Melissa Joan Hart. We all love Melissa Joan Hart. It's great. It's great. It's great. She's talking about Clarissa explains it all. But also Clarissa Shields two-time olympian three-way yeah. class boxing champion just signed with the yeah. pfl she's switching over to mma so deep cut perfect <laughs> mic drop so a big big shout out to mike gills he like you you guys don't even know the kind of level that we're on sometimes if, if you don't if you didn't grow up watching Clarissa explains it all are you afraid of the dark hey dude so you your shorts. World, salute your shorts step by step i'm going on a different uh, program mm-hmm. here but Oh, yeah, P and P, all these wonderful things. You just you don't know what you guys you know. You guys aren't growing up like we did. You need to get get studying. All right, uh, Bob, I wanna, I'm gonna test you real quick. Just what was the name of the band from Pete and Pete's intro song? This is a deep cut. There's a reason that I know that it's unfair because there's a reason that I know this. But you're a cheating bastard. <laughs> I would do not know, but I do own season one and two on DVD. Ooh. Uh, I, I went on, no, I went on a tube hole back in the day. I can uh, I can give you the name of the woman tattooed on his arm. I can do that too. <laughs> on three, on three, ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Petunia. Petunia. Yes. <laughs> nice. We're getting real nerdy with it. 